In this video, we're going to learn how to identify point groups of a molecule using symmetry elements and a simple yes no flowchart to make things much easier. But first, I'll quickly go over a point group, which is a way of classifying molecules based on their symmetry elements, so things like mirror planes, rotation axes, and centers of inversion. You can think of it like a molecule's unique symmetry signature. Every molecule has its own set of symmetry elements, and these determine which point group it belongs to. And I've actually included a table of common point groups from low to high symmetry, but instead of memorizing these, we'll use this much simpler flowchart I've made to figure out the point groups. So let's go through it. Let's first ask, is the molecule linear? If yes, check for a center of inversion. If yes, we have D infinity H, so for example, hydrogen. If no, we have C infinity V, for example, carbon monoxide. Now going back, if it's not linear, does it have multiple rotation axes higher than C2? If yes, and there's a center of inversion, does it have a C3 axis? If yes, it's IH, so for example, fullerene. If no C3 axis, it's OH, so for example, sulfur hexafluoride. If there is no inversion center, we have TD, for example, methane. Going back now, if it has multiple rotation axes higher than C2, does it have a single proper rotation axis? If yes, and it has another CN axis perpendicular to C2 axis, it's in the diahedral or D groups. If it has a horizontal mirror plane, it's DNH, for example, benzene. If it has a diagonal mirror plane, it's DND, for example, phosphorus pentafluoride. But if it has no mirror planes, it's just DN, for example, naphthalene. But if there is no perpendicular C2 axis, we're in the cyclic or C groups. If it has a horizontal mirror plane, it's CNH, for example, cis dichloroethene. If it has a vertical mirror plane, it's CNV, for example, ammonia. If it has an improper rotation axis, it would be S to N, so for example, staggered ethane. But if it has none of the above, it's simply CN, for example, cyclopropane. Lastly, going back again, if there's no proper rotation axis and it only has a mirror plane, it's CS, for example, methanol. But if there is only a center of inversion, it's CI, and an example would be transdichloroethene. And if it has neither, it's simply C1, an example would be bromochlorofluoromethane. So let's go through some quick examples. Example one, water. It's not linear, has a C2 axis, and it has vertical mirror planes. So when using the chart, it's not linear, doesn't have any rotational axes higher than C2. It does have a C2 rotational axis, but no other C and axes perpendicular to it. So there's no horizontal mirror plane, but there are two vertical or sigma V planes along the C2 axis. That makes it C2V. Example two, hydrogen peroxide. It's not linear, only has one C2 axis and no mirror planes. So it's not linear, has no rotational axes higher than C2, it has a single C2 rotational axis with no perpendicular C CN axis and no mirror planes. That makes it C2. And for the last example, we have benzene. It has multiple C2 and C6 axes. It has horizontal mirror plane and an inversion center. So it's not linear and doesn't have more than two CN axes greater than C2. It has a C6 axis with multiple C2 axes perpendicular to it, plus a horizontal mirror plane and an inversion center. That places it in D6H. 
So if this made point groups clearer, let me know in the comments. I've left a few extra practice problems in the description. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.